G'day guys, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity, and today we are reacting to Melbourne Street Art Best Locations. This video is requested to us by James1986. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate the suggestion. Uh, with that being said, I was trying to figure out what this background was. Um, I was a Stranger Things fan. I think they came out with a new season or they're coming out with a new season. I haven't watched it. But it looks very Stranger Thingy yes. Ask. He agreed, but it's not. So, you At guys. At least we don't know. We if if it. this relates to like some TV show or something in Australia, let us know. But it's probably just a cool looking background. Yeah, I think it just looks like the universe type situation or creation yeah. of some sort. And Or the Big Bang, rather. With that being said, relating to awesome looking background, I knew there was, I mean, there's street art in most cities, but... When I think of Melbourne, I don't think of street art. So this could change that. To be that fair, I, I, when I think of Dallas, I don't think of street art either. Well, I don't either. I but, can't think of street art in Dallas. But if I were to talk about Dallas, I wouldn't be like, oh, street art. The right. only place I'd probably think that way are possibly places in very artsy, like um, San Francisco, I'd think art. Mm -hmm. Probably L.A., um, I would probably think art for places like Paris. Um, I just, for some reason, I just thought of Florida, but then I'm thinking about like somebody just got done eating another person's face and they're, <laughs> they're using their blood <laughs> to do the street art. A little, uh, people uh, in Florida are a little crazy. Yeah, we don't, all, we don't claim Florida as part of the United States. And they, they have eaten people's faces. Before. Legitimately. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bad salt. Or no. That was from a, a synthetic weed. No, um, it was a. Uh, it wasn't a synthetic weed. It it they call it the devil's something. Just, the devil. Be just weed. No, they call it the devil's something. But it's devil's anus. Maybe. That's off of four. <laughs> but, but no, it was. Uh, it was yeah. They've had some rough times down in Florida, so. Uh, with that being said, guys, before we hop into this video, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive YouTube short shout out, exclusive, exclusive, yes, sir, exclusive. click the join button down below. So let's go ahead and hop in and check out this amazing street art. Possibly. Let's do it. Watch this be like. Uh, like a troll video and it's just kids doing uh, like drawing chalk. yeah <laughs> he's got backup beepers so sorry to pause it so quickly i've been wanting to start doing vlogs and every vlog like I've been watching how-to vlog videos <laughs> and every how-to vlog video does that th no this is, they say this is the worst thing to do, and I like it. Well, it's just like when we watch Stradman. They say Strad it's a Man. filler that nobody cares to watch. But it's like Stradman when he puts gas in his cars. Right. It's like click, No, click, I'm click, cool click. with it. Yeah, like, no, Every I one of the it. tutorials is, are like, this is just filler, and it's a waste of time, and people hate it. I'm like, but who? <laughs> <laughs> so that person dislikes it. Yeah, this Maybe. is pretty long filler, though. Vlog number two. <laughs> Understanding Melbourne street art. Art is a small word, but can have different interpretations. I also think of England Melbourne as well. Melbourne has a thriving art scene, especially that of street art, which attracts not only tourists, or but London, locals rather. also. Street art is predominantly legal in the city and inner city suburbs. Really? If artists have permission from the owners of the buildings that they're working on. Okay. It's embedded in our culture, just like coffee is for us, and can be seen everywhere. It's always evolving in Melbourne, as the alleyways, secret lanes, and murals That's are dope. constantly That's insane. Changing. I like to compartmentalize Melbourne's street art into three categories. Each aspect has an underlining motive behind it that the art or the artist is trying to project. Number one, Characters the reality of the world. Political issues, ads, wow. and any form of entertainment come under this element. It's what society feels important in the modern age that inspires Melbourne yeah. street artists to use the artistic skills to portray these aspects. Thoroughly. This example can be found walking out of Melbourne Central's Swanson Street exit. It can be upcoming movie promos or ads by companies that's visible when walking out of one of the busiest stations in Melbourne as the promos are painted meticulously. Coming back to controversial murals, Hosier Lane is an amazing place to visit. So I'm at Hosier Lane right now and this is Melbourne's biggest and most busiest art alleyway and it's packed today. 
See, I think that looks awesome. Yeah. I wish they would allow that in more places. Well, and now that I think about it, the mural with it being Australia, you know, people like now that I'm thinking, people in Australia surf, and when I think of like the coast in California, people surf, and I can I don't know I match up surfing with with tagging it's, as and, a, and street and art bombing and all that. Yeah, <laughs> as in it's like two completely different cultures though. I don't know. Egg boy was painted in Hoysia Lane, but shine the on because you always see that the 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 skate parks are all tagged and right, and which isn't necessarily the same people either. As far as like I'm talking about surfers. Oh well, a lot of surfers. You no, know, and I agree. Yeah. I mean. Locally, like situations, because we don't have a, a coast here, so right. yeah, our skaters definitely do not <laughs> surf. So that's why I say that. Politicians depicts again the reality of the world, and we see the boy who cracked an egg on Fraser Anning's head hailed as a hero. Unfortunately, the mural was painted over three times with white paint by supporters of Anning. Eventually, the mural was painted again by anti racist activists saying. No room for racism. Anyway, Hoysia Lane is an awesome place to visit That's while dope. there are other remarkable pieces of graffiti still there. Number two, the reality of other people. This is where street art gets interesting. This element is very personal. Melbournians use this aspect to really express themselves. Advertising the next movie or a business really does not matter here. When you look at this kind of art, you are looking at the reality Pixel of the person art. That's who made dope. it. Whoever it is, he or she is trying to convey their ideologies to the world. These kinds of artworks don't always have to be... Which is freaky because, like, some people... That is sick. Yeah. Like, I don't know. When I think of people going out and painting their personal uh, ideology, I think of, like, and, and I don't know why, again, but I think of, like, depressed people. Going out and like to be fair, artists. I mean, just like anything else. I mean, a lot of the reasons that people get so good at something and is deep into art, and that's actually a uh, they find their their niche or not necessarily their niche, but their their scapegoat uh, or their escape rather. Just like a stand up comedian, stand up right. comedians find their humor in dark areas. Yeah, um, musicians can find their stuff in dark areas. Yeah, um, but I've I've heard a lot of artists. artists that's how they express their emotion because they feel alone and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, so, no, I get that. Huge as some and I respect that. And yeah. they are minuscule in nature. The reality might not be pleasant also. Like some, it can be dark and thought-provoking. Mm -hmm. If you really want a taste of this reality, then head over to Pressgrave Place. It's a hidden alleyway located behind the 30 mil coffee shop. So this is one of my favorite places in the city. It's called Pressgrave Place. A friend showed me this a couple of years ago. And every time I come to the city and I really want to look at art, I always come here. It's full of peculiar artwork everywhere and people just come and hang in their own artwork. Man, I love this city. Number three, the reality of yourself. Art has the power to take you out of yourself from reality. From endless cycles of thoughts and worries, it has the ability to bring you to the present moment, which is a difficult trance to achieve. It can evoke emotions of That's such dope. that push us into deep thought. That's huge. The place I really like to come to enter this that reality awesome. is Croft Alley. So I'm at Croft Alley now. This place is a bit hard to find, but once you do, there's a hidden bar located in the corner wow. of the alley, yeah. and this whole place is covered with street art on the wall. This claustrophobic alley can overwhelm you. You can either be lost so in thought. Is this this door right here what goes into the hidden bar? Does that be trippy? I, mm -hmm. I well, it's got a no smoking sign, so I'm sure that is the doors to the bar. But that that's trippy that you got to go down this alley that he says is like super hard to find. And then also and there's a bar back there. Claustrophobic. Yeah. Claustrophobic cool. alley can overwhelm you. You can either be lost in thought or be completely present. Well, it seems like two of the main ways to live your life, I guess. I'm so tired. My legs are dead from walking so much today, but it was worth every moment. Melbourne has such an amazing art scene. It's peculiar, eccentric, yeah. 
and just so intricate at the same time. But you can just get lost in all these different realities depending on who painted it, why it was painted, or if it's just randomly there by some random person. I wanna thank everyone who's been watching my videos and subscribing and liking and sharing. You guys are awesome, you guys know who you are. I have so much fun making these vlogs slash videos and it's just such a fun experience. Finally, I will be talking about some notable mentions that I didn't talk about in the start of the video. Make sure to keep watching. If you're new to Melbourne or if you've been living in Melbourne, Obviously, we're going to finish this, but I like this guy. I do too. So definitely uh, go check out Anwal Kochar. We're going to go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like because I like this guy for sure. Mm -hmm. For a few years now and you know someone who likes art or if you like art, you should just go and visit these places. Thanks, guys. Peeking around the corner from Chinatown's hustle and bustle doesn't do Tattersall's Lane justice. You need to stroll down this narrow alleyway to discover some great street art. That's and awesome. Cool mm -hmm. When it comes to uptown vibes, street They're cool and old place. school grime, duck like this just doesn't places. seem like Coming the Australia that we've seen this far. Posters, the lane is home to yeah. innovative Chinese eatery, the Indian inspired flavors of Tonka, a Danish steakhouse and a wine bar. So this would be my favorite place to go because you've the got the, bar. no, no, you've got the really do apart and Chinese food. Yeah. And Indian no, food. All the curry you could ever want. Yeah. Walking through Duckworth Place, That's you'll dope. stumble That's upon sick. ACDC Lane. Named after the Australian musical heroes, ACDC Lane is the physical embodiment of Melvin's love affair with down and dirty rock and roll. That is really cool. <laughs> what is that baby from? No clue. That baby's from something. Where you from, baby? Yeah, baby, where you from? Let me know in the comments. Shaq. Oh yeah, because he's doing stand-up now. That's sick. This right here? Oh yeah, that is really cool. That is insane. Finally, take a stroll down Myers Place, one of Melbourne's oldest alleyways. Selected as one of the pilot projects for the city's new Green Your Laneways campaign, mm. the laneways grey walls were brought to life by amazing green galleries. That is gorgeous. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. This is part one of three of the Melbourne CBD series. I'm excited for everyone to see what's coming up in the future. Melbourne is an amazing city. There's so many things to do. So make sure to check these places out if you haven't. Or I hope this video gave you some perspective if you have checked these places out. And maybe now you look at it from a different point of view. Take your friends, go alone. Enjoy. Yeah, no, this definitely... A chair, but I think it's still different. Do what? That looks a lot like my chair. This definitely gave, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that one's different. Yeah. This definitely gave me a different perspective of Yeah, Melbourne. complete, or just Australia. But yeah, of well. Australia in, in general, because... We've only seen this from a outside, like, not in depth. Right. I mean, I think one of, we've seen a couple of in depth, but uh, the only one that I can think of really was... Um, uh, remember the guy that he was from England, I believe, with his girlfriend? The black oh, guy. right, right, right. And right. he went to uh, the place with the, the dick tower or whatever it was, mm -hmm. the penis tower. Uh, that was the only one that I think we've truly seen. I like, feel like this is drastically different. Oh, this was still. a completely yeah. different type of video. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, he still showed more of like the touristy type stuff. This guy showed Strictly like. Strictly the, the off the beaten path. Yeah, very, for like, sure. Because, I mean... To be fair, we might be wrong. This might be, like, some places that are, like, a must-see. Right. But I've never... I mean, and, and you guys have never requested it. And so... Right. It just doesn't come off that way to us as something that is super popular to go see. But it would right. definitely be something I would be interested in going to see. Oh, yeah. I would absolutely love it. And then grab some Chinese on the way out. Oh, yeah. For sure. On yeah, the way in yeah. and on the way out. Uh, guys, again, this guy's video is really good. Yeah. Um show some and, Aussie love yeah and it's part one of three so go check him out if uh, if you guys are interested in checking out more of the street art videos and if you want us to see or react to the other two let us know down in the comments That's the yeah. best way to let us know uh, if you have other suggestions there's a link in our description to our discord uh, if you want us to watch something that's completely different so. 
that's what yeah. it was. But guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, it'd mean the world to us if you hit that like button because it gets it out to a bunch of other people. Yes. And if you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit the join button and then click on that $99 option. Yeah. If you're crazy enough, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. But Just send us Tim Tams. Yeah, just send us the Tim Tams. But with that being said. My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Thank you.